Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Now today we've got a big video because we've got some new ones coming into the pot of glory, including some re release reviews. Because obviously I took a bit of a joke as some of them so have been re added. The ones that have been bought today are Golden Eye, Rune Raker, and Octopus. We've also added Oz the Great and Powerful and Wizard of Oz as films to go in the pot. So I can officially say I've completed the shelf. Um, but yesterday I ordered Golden Eye, Moon Raker, Octopussy. They are also in the pot. These all bits of paper. Uh, cut up and put in on the 1st of July. Yeah, that's a quick update on that situation. Let's get into the main review of things. Review at 5, obviously. That's one review at 5. Uh, but yeah, we're starting our Mission Impossibles after this review. But let's get into it. It came out 2009, Slash of Horror, and it's an hour 46. We see a girl running through woods. It's the heading of Mrs. Voorhees and Alex, obviously. We see Crystal Lake present day as the campus to take. We see the nerd separates from the group. The rest of the group take a leak. He finds loads of weed, but is druggy Jason farmland. I call him druggy Jason because he is. Kills him. Then Richie goes to explore and find uh, that Mike and his girl find an abandoned house, and Richie and girl bo bone Richie and his other girl bone uh, thinks the way he's watching. So Richie goes to find, to confront him. Get the girl gets uh, put in the perceiving bag and put over fire, and, but and basically a brazen bull up on the roof burns to death. Richie's foot is mangled by bear trap. Jason stabs Mike, then drags him downstairs. Jason heads for Gail. Gail returns to Richie. Richie is uh, macheted in the head, and Gail is struck into title card. We see it six weeks later, and the Kurt Gax, and we see, Gu we see Guy uh, looking for his sister, the girl from earlier. We see the random hillbilly, and he gets killed, and he finds the hockey mask. We see the lair that they're keeping the guy's sister in. The nerd, there's also a new group of campers up there. Chewie gets killed. His friend Lawrence finds his body. The best part of this film was the fucking lie between Chewie and Lawrence. Lawrence finds his body. Jason comes after Lawrence and throws axe at him back and kills him. Skipped a lot due to boring because the best people were out of the film were they just loads of sex scenes. The brother finds his sister and Jason is chasing the crew. This up the girl that the brother was with that found them is stabbed. They make it to the brother and sister make it back to Hillbilly's farm and Bro is nearly killed by Jason but but luckily the sister uses her charm to basically fool Jason into thinking she was his her mother. Should have been used before, it's a common use trope. And he's bladed up. And he's buried under the sea. But Jason obviously jumps out and grabs the sister. And it goes into a really cool song piece. So I gave this film a 4.5 out of 10. I don't think it's as bad as people make it out. I just don't think that reusing the same tropes that films did better was a good idea. Because that's what seriously defeated the film, in my opinion. Uh... It just did everything other films did, but 20, they did 20 times better. This, they did 20 times worse than the other crew. Um, so, yeah. Have you guys did enjoy my review of, what's his name, Friday the 13th, 2009 remake. And I'll see you guys in Mission Impossible. Which is doing, we're doing Mission Impossible now, actually, I believe. Yeah. Bye-bye.